Aston Villa's biggest crowd of the season know their club have a poor recent record in this fixture, but they're hoping a fresh factor today will crack Manchester United's unbeaten run. Because Didier Six makes his first appearance in English football after playing for France in the European Championship and in two World Cups. Six is on loan to Villa until the end of the season, and he's preferred today to Mark Walters. Steve McMahon returns after injury, but Steve Foster can't regain his place from Brendan Ormsby, who, along with goalkeeper Mervyn Day and Gary Williams, plays despite being on the transfer list. United make one change from the side which drew in Hungary. Brian Robson's hamstring injury keeps him out, but Gordon Strachan returns with Arnold Muren keeping his place. Kevin Moran is captain for the first time. And Frank Stapleton and Gordon McQueen have both come through two reserve matches, so the competition for places at United promises to be, like today's match, fast and furious. Ron Atkinson, whose professional career began at Villa Park back in 1956, and with him there on the bench today, the injured England captain, Brian Robson, and physio Jim McGregor. Referee Brian Hill of Kettering. Well, wherever and whenever Manchester United play, there's always a sense of occasion. And Villa Park this afternoon is noisy and expectant. United are wearing white shirts, playing from the right. Here's Moses. Nicely turned on by Strachan. An offside against Alan Brazil. Who got his first goal for United in the midweek UFA Cup tie. Seeks to the right here. This is Birch. Williams. Free kick. Foul by Hughes. Taken quickly by Seeks to Cowens. With McMahon. Well, that happened. That shot by McMahon. But that happened because Didio Seeks took a free kick so quickly, Manchester United hadn't settled down. Quick thinking there by the new player. Just put the ball down and got on with it. And the move developed from there. Williams on Brazil, free kick. He was up with Day. Quarter of an hour gone and no score. Let's look at the length again there on Mervyn Day's kick. It was with Flick and right out! Wow, that would have been a great advertisement for the direct football camp. <laughs> the kick from Mervyn Day went right onto the 18-yard line at the other end. With flicked it on and right out with the volley. What a spectacular goal that would have been. Great kick by the keeper. Moses. Gibson. Seeks. Gibson. Cowens. Came off Moses. Corner.
Six has pulled it back to Gibson. And that's floated for Birch. And that's useful for right out. Six to make his run inside Duxbury, beautifully done, and Six, and with, off the line was it, over the line, a goal for Pisa with, from DDA Six, brilliant run, Aston Villa take the lead, and Six makes an early impression on the England stage, he made a brilliant run inside Duxbury, he's beautifully found, and then when he crossed it, Peter Wiss had a beat Bailey, he got a hand to it, and it was over the line before the defender hooked it out. So for Peter Wiss, an unusual hat-trick, he scored in the last three meetings here between Aston Villa and Manchester United, and that one came after 20 minutes. And it set Villa Park alight. And Six placed the cross to perfection. It was a good signal actually by the linesman as well on the far side who uh, made it quite clear to the referee that the ball had crossed the line. United may have thought for a minute they got away with it, but Frank Pardo there saw that the whole of the ball was over. And with gets the verdict again, Moran's complaining about that. It's a <laughs> battle for men in that particular area of the field without any doubt. There they are preparing for McMahon's kick. Cowens. Whips in there again. Alan Evans. Oh, it's there! Evans has scored 2 0. And Manchester United looking around at the goalkeeper. He must have been unsighted. Peter Wynn set it up. Evans' shot didn't seem to have that much power, but it was right in the corner. Bailey couldn't get there. And Aston Villa, who have made an uncertain start to the season, have made a very confident start to this match. 25 minutes gone, and the captain, Alan Evans, puts them two goals up against the only unbeaten side in the first division before today. So, what can Manchester United do about this? Alan Evans, who will be 28 next Friday, celebrates with his first goal of the season. <laughs> Moses, Brazil, Strachan, now only one way for Manchester United to go. And there's Duxbury. Well taken by Mervyn Day. Now, what makes this particular position in the game so interesting is that Manchester United haven't got Brian Robson playing, who is so often their inspiration, and we've yet to see what they'll be like in adversity without either him or Ray Wilkins, and Ron Atkinson knows that two goals down, they've got a lot to do here today. Right out, seats. Every time the ball goes out there, the crowd are expectant. But Gary Bailey came for that under no challenge. Birch. Oh, he's through. Mirren got a foot in. The way back is cut off by Wyth. It was Williams' header to McMahon. That's a good try as well. That's worth from Steve McMahon. This befits a team who've got two goals up. Villa are suddenly shooting from anywhere. They're full of confidence. McMahon hit that one. Little chip ball for ride out. Cowens is following up. Oh, good stuff again. Uh, 
Villa playing with towering confidence as they got that two-goal boost and Sikh's involved in the move again. And McMahon is running the game at the moment in midfield. He seems to have hit a high here and he's searched for Sikh's and found him. And six again. If it had been a yard higher, they were in again. Because right out and with, we're just aching to get on the end of that. But the man that inspired the move was McMahon, who's beginning to look now the player that Villa knew he was when they signed him from Everton. Hughes for Manchester United. Brazil's away to his right. Olsen. Now, Gibson an easy interception. With. And again, McMahon. And crossed by Birch. Strachan. United have got five players forward in this attack. And six with Olveston. Olsen. Tackled by Birch. Brazil. Well played, Olsen, Hughes, they're appealing for a penalty, it was always beyond Hughes, the referee was well positioned and said no, and Villa breathe again, with a lovely ball there by Peter Wirth out to Paul right out. But it's all going so fast, you've hardly got time to draw breath, Muren, through the middle for Brazil, Never looked like getting there. But just a moment there when Ormsby tangled with Hughes in the box. One or two United players thought they might have had a penalty. Aston Villa produced their best form of the season in that first half. DDA Six seemed to lift the whole arena. He made the first goal for Peter Wythe, and while Villa was still living off that, Alan Evans got the second and sent unbeaten Manchester United in at half-time with a lot of things to sort out. The two social faces of soccer support in the 80s. The terrace fan who has to dig deep into his pocket to find the fare and the admission money, and behind him in the executive boxes, the wealthier fans who can afford a three-course meal with their football. While Aston Villa were dominating the midfield in the first half, you can see why Manchester United missed Brian Robson. You have to go back to May the 16th to find a defeat for Manchester United at Nottingham Forest at the end of last season. And before today, they'd only let in five league goals. Had the best defensive record in the first division, which has now been somewhat punctured by Aston Villa in the first half. Ormsby is Dexbury. Moses, Brazil. Seeks. Good ball, Gibson. Came off Warren for a corner. Gibson again, who supplied the pass for Seeks for that the run that led to the first goal. He's involved in the attack a lot today is Gibson. Now Evans and Rideout going to the near post area. Ormsby's also there. Whistle's gone. It seemed to go in off Alan Brazil actually, but there was a foul in there. Close thing though. Brazil being challenged by Ormsby. Augustin. 
Arnold Muren's made a run through the centre. Olsen for United. Orbiston. Almost with acrobatic clearance. Very effective. Right out. McMahon. Oh, straight to Moses. And that wasn't a particularly good pass either, but he got it back from Olsen. Two in the centre here for United. What a good throw by the goalkeeper. Mervyn Day finding Gordon Cowens. He's got six out to his left. With and right out making runs the other way. The angle ball taken out by Moran. Excellent distribution today from Mervyn Day. Six. championship race this season and results or scores like this one make for an awful lot of speculation Manchester United one of the favorites three goals down having previously not been beaten but it's happened comparatively early in the match and they've got time to restore rather more sanity to that score from their point of view Hughes has made the run. And Strachan. Well, this has been a lucky ground for Manchester United in recent seasons, but so far, not today for Ron Atkinson's team. First sign of Villa flagging a bit here. This is Strachan. Brazil's pulled away unmarked on the far side. Closed down by Birch in the end. Here's Orbiston. Moses. Brazil. Good turn. Good save. Mervyn Day so alert. But the best I've seen from Alan Brazil perhaps in a Manchester United shirt, it was a superb turn, back to his Ipswich best there, and driven, but Mervyn Day was in exactly the right place. It's a good effort, though. That's McMahon, and again, Birch. Williams. Chris. Oh, good one too. Williams and Seeks. Williams again. Oh, right outside netting. Well, Gary Williams, who's never scored in his Aston Villa career in the league, played a good one too with DDA Seeks. It wasn't far away. It ended up almost as a cross to right out. Brazil with a flick. Duxbury, Strachan, Mervyn Day says that's mine, Yeah. 
seats, jumping into Duxbury rather. And there's going to be a substitution by Aston Villa. And as Graham Turner suggested to me before the match, DDA Seeks, who hasn't done very much training, is going to be brought off and replaced by Mark Walters. But listen to the ovation that he's going to get from the crowd. What a welcome addition to the scene here. It's given the Villa Park band something to talk about this afternoon. And on comes Mark Walters, who wasn't too happy about being left out and may now want to prove something. Because he's an outside left as well, really. Hughes. Muren. Strachan. Duxbury. Day's punch, Orbiston couldn't quite get his foot to it. Moran. Cowan's header. Here he is again. Good touches. McMahon. Birch is on the right. The two big men aren't forward yet. But Walters is! Well, Moran's face there seemed to say, where on earth was the marking? And it, <laughs> it's a good break, actually, by Villa, because it didn't have width or right out in the box, but Walters, having just come on, put his header just over the bar. Here's Birch. with here's Strachan and Muren and there's promise here for Manchester United they've got a man over Hughes and Orbiston is the man from the back and Brazil no Defender got there. Evans and Ormsby both got back to block it. It was probably United's best chance. Moses. Brazil nearly in there at the end for United. Manchester United's unbeaten run is emphatically ended. Their first defeat of the season and Aston Villa's best performance surely since Graham Turner took over as manager. Right out got the third goal to sew it up in the second half. But the lesson of the match, apart from DDA Six, was in midfield. Gordon Cowns getting back to his best helped to run the match and with McMahon also in good form Villa in that department showed up the absence of Brian Robson and found the platform for a very impressive 3-0 victory. <laughs>